Okay, I just um, just posted a video about the trip, but I didn't actually explain what we did during the trip, so I'm gonna explain that now. So we did seven days of VBS, not right in a row, but um, just in the two weeks, we did seven days. There were seven different places, whether it be schools or towns, and some of them were huge, like 500, 600 kids. Some of them were smaller, uh, like 100 to 200 kids, but at all of them, we, we sang, they sang, sometimes we just get, we introduced everybody. And then at the bigger schools with the more space and more time, we split them up as best as possible. Sometimes they had classes that they were already in, so it was easy for them to split up. Other times, not so much. But we did crafts, which was crosses with little jewels and glitter on it. And I did recreation with a few other people. Um, so we had like four groups of recreation, four groups of crafts. Uh, so we didn't have like huge, huge, huge groups. I mean, like I would have 30 to 100 kids kind of at once, just depending on the places we went. At the end of all of them, we handed out bags or book bags. Depending on the poverty level, it wouldn't matter what was in it. Um, and at the smaller ones, we would just do a condensed version. Like sometimes we would just sing and just do crafts, and that was it. Because of the space or the time, we didn't have as much available to us. But so we did seven BBSs. We also had to put all those bags and book bags together. Assembly line, um, just as fast as we could possibly go, packing them all, zipping them up, counting, putting them in the bags, all that stuff. Um, we went to the orphanage, met all the kids, we helped build a playground for them, which we thought we were doing three hours, but it was a lot more complicated than that. So it took about four days. They loved it. We brought them a lot of stuff like balloons, and Play-Doh, and quarters, uh, bubbles, books, crayons, things for them to do. We played games. Um, we went to a safari type of thing, like a field trip for them. We all got on a 60 person bus and drove about four hours around a massive mountain with beautiful scenery that you couldn't even get on pictures because it just didn't take it well enough. So we went there and we saw lots of animals, zebras, monkeys, giraffes, elephants, you know, um, we looked at a large Cajun place where there were monkeys and rhinos. We had lunch and then we drove four hours back. Um, so we got a lot of times with the kids, lots of pictures of people sleeping. The kids sleeping, us sleeping, everybody thought it was funny when your mouth was hanging open. Um, and then we went to, two, we split up into two different churches. One was Humphreys Church we went to last year and one was a church with other people went to. And some taught Sunday school. Some of us sang and did other stuff like that. We went to a preschool to hand out some balloons and play games with them and um, stuff like that. Uh, what else did we do? We did a lot. A lot of side things kind of that would come up out of nowhere like the TV was broken in the orphanage. Um, the pipe broke to a sink in the orphanage. We'd get that fixed. Uh, we realized we need to make shelves for the mama of the orphanage so that she didn't have all her stuff laying on the floor. We realized we need to get new mattresses because um, some of them wet the beds, so we need to measure them and teach them how to like put plastic on it so that they didn't ruin the mattresses right away. Um, we did a lot of that. We cooked an American dinner for them so they could taste some of our food, and it was funny because a lot of them weren't sure what it was or they weren't sure if they liked it or didn't want to tell us that they didn't like it, but we all agreed that olives are nasty. All of them didn't like olives. And a lot of the things we had were sweet, like chocolate cake, cherry pie, you know, the fruits that we had. Um, they don't have cherries or apples in Kenya. So they were surprised with the applesauce and stuff like that. Um, but it was just fun to see them eat the kind of food that we do. Uh, we had to separate a lot out of the containers that we sent the past few years. We sent huge containers with boxes and bags and stuff for um, the kids that we visit, the kids that we sponsor the adults there that we can, stuff like that. So everywhere we went to different towns and villages to do VBS, we would also um, get pictures of the kids we sponsor, try to get some information, and a lot of the kids, or a lot of the adults that went with us 
also had sponsored kids that they sponsored. So it was great for them to see them as they grow or for the first time or see how it's going. One of the towns we visited was Chira and the first year we went none of them had shoes pretty much. It was sad and they had a lot of jiggers which were like uh, kind of like bugs that get under your skin and they make you infected. And we gave them a lot of medicine last year and helped them be knowledgeable about how to ch like treat that. And it was great to see this year that it was like everybody had shoes almost and nobody was infected from it. It was just great to see uh, that it worked, that it stuck. Um, so it's good to see that. And then of course like baby Moses, he was a baby in the hospital that was just abandoned. Uh, last year, they were just heartbroken, like no one was taking care of him. He was sitting in the crib doing nothing. And so they agreed, the mama of the orphanage agreed to take him in. And here it is a year later, and he's so much better. You know, he's happy, he's well taken care of, he's kind of spoiled because they just give him whatever he wants to. It's pretty funny. But it was just great to see, like, how he's still alive and he's being well taken care of. Um, as well as all the kids in the orphanage. Like, we loved them. They were so sweet and so cute, and we just really all loved them, um, especially after hearing the stories and backgrounds of where they came from. It was really hard to know that they're these sweet kids who just want love, and they were abandoned, or their parents died, or, you know, just sad things happened to them. Um, so it was just good to see, like, hey, we made a difference in... 17 kids lives and that's the big deal um, What else do we do? We did a lot I'm Trying to think mm. That may be it. I think that's it. I mean we I'm sure we did more. I just can't remember all of it um, So those are basically what we did and it was great um, So yeah, that's what we did